All right, this is fourth grade, module three, lesson eight. And in this lesson, we're gonna continue uh, that uh, technique of using the place value chart to multiply. Uh, but now we're gonna be multiplying three and four digit numbers uh, by one digit. And we're still gonna be using the place value, but we're also gonna be using that place value as a tool for understanding um, partial products, which is uh, one step towards the standard algorithm, which of course our students are going to be learning. So we've got 424, and let me write that right here, 424 multiply by 3. Now using the place value disks, um, we would first model, so let's get 424. All right, and because it says we're going to multiply by three, that means we need to have three groups of this. So let's get that going here. So another group. So that's two groups. And here's our three groups. Now, uh, let's represent that over here in our partial products. So how many ones do we have? Well, we have three groups of four. So 3 times 4 is 12. So we have 12 ones. And how did we get that? We did 3 times 4. Now taking a look at our tens, how many tens do we have? Well, we have 3 groups of 2. So 3 times 2 is 6. So that's 6 tens. Well, 6 tens is 60. How did we get that? Well, we did 3 times 20. 3 groups of 20 three groups of 20, and that gives us 60. And then lastly, looking at the hundreds, we have three groups of four hundreds. So that means we have 12 hundreds. All right, so what is that going to look like? That's going to look like this, 12 hundreds, and that's because we did three times 400. All right, now parents and teachers, this notation that I'm doing is a little bit different than what Eureka Math is doing. I think they use arrows or something like that, and they're saying, yeah, arrows, and that's how they're distinguishing it. I'm just doing it in parentheses off to the side. Um, and now, in, the, in both techniques, we need to simplify. So let's take a look at our place value chart. Now we know that our place value chart, anytime you have 10 in one column, you can bundle them together for one in the column to the left. So let's see, we can count 12, uh, 10 of these 12. So these 10 ones can be bundled together to equal 1, 10. That means these guys are no longer here because we've bundled them together. And then we can look and we still have less than 10 tens, so we're okay there. But when we look at our hundreds, we have 12 hundreds, which means we're going to take 10 of those hundreds and bundle them for one in the thousands place, which means these 10 hundreds are going to be gone because they got bundled together. So what do we end up with? Well, we have one in the thousands place. We have these two in the hundreds place. We have these seven in the tens place. And we have these two left over in the ones place. So according to our place value chart, we should have 1,272. Well, let's take a look at our partial products. Let's add our ones together. Two ones plus zero plus zero ones. That gives us two ones. And then our tens, one ten plus six tens plus zero tens, that equals seven tens. No hundreds plus no hundreds plus two hundreds, that gives us two hundreds. And same thing, we only have one thousand here. And so our answer is one thousand two hundred seventy two, and you can see that that's our answer in both places. Now, parents and teachers, this is going to be going away real soon because we don't want to be drawing dots our whole life. This over here is our partial products technique, the very famous technique. 
uh, eventually we're going to simplify it even more and and in favor of the standard algorithm for the United States. But right now we're still thinking about partial products because we're connecting these two ideas. Another example. So let's take a look at that. Um, we could do a place value chart. So let's do one, two, three, four. So here's our ones, tens, hundreds, and then thousands. Teachers, I make my students write these in. I never give them a place value chart with the labels filled in already because I want them, our students, to be practicing constantly, constantly about that place value stuff. So let's write this down. 1,424 multiply by 4. So that's the, this is where we're going to do the place value chart, I mean the partial products. Over here, we're going to do the place value chart. So let's start by modeling 1,424. So 1,424. So there's our number. Now, because it says we're going to multiply by 4, that means we need to have four groups of those. So let's do that. So here's a second group. Here's a third group. And here is our fourth and final group. And now, uh, let's connect that with our partial products. So the idea would be, we have four groups of four. So four groups of four ones, so that's 16 ones. Now how did we get that? Well, we did four times four. Four times four ones. Now let's take a look right here. Well, we have four groups of two tens. So that means we have 80. And how did we get that? Well, we did 4 times 20. And if you're not sure, you see four groups, and each group is 20. So that's 4 times 20. Now let's take a look at our hundreds. Again, we have four groups, and it's four groups of four hundreds. So four, that means we're going to have 16 Hundreds. So what is 16 hundreds going to look like? It's going to look like 1,600. So how did we get that? Well, we did 4 times 400. And then lastly, we have 4 groups of 1,000. So 4 times 1,000 gives us 4,000. And how did we get that? Well, we did 4 times 1,000. All right, so over here is our place value chart. Over here is our partial products. Not quite the standard algorithm yet. But let's simplify the place value chart. So let's um, get red. And we remember, anytime you have 10 dots, you can bundle those together for one dot to the left. So that means these 10 dots are going to go away. And we end up with, let's see, one, two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine tens. So nothing that needs bundling here. But over here in our hundreds, oh, we need to bundle. So we need to grab these 10 dots. Because those 10 dots can be bundled together for a thousand. Those 10 hundreds. Now these 10 hundreds are gone because we've bundled it together for a, a thousand. So what is our answer? What do we end up with? Well, we end up with one, two, three, four, five thousands. We end up with, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six hundreds left over. We have nine tens. And then we had one, two, three, four, five, six ones left over. So our place value chart says we should end up with 5,696. So let's add our partial products over here and see if we get the same thing. So when we add our ones, now teachers, notice how I really worked hard to stack these in columns nice and neat. Uh, you need, may need to give your students graph paper in order to keep your, their numbers lined up nice and neat. 
Anyway, when we add our ones together, we get six ones. When we add our tens together, we get nine tens. When we add our hundreds together, we get six hundreds. And lastly, when we add our thousands together, we end up with five thousands. So we end up with 5,696, which matches. So that means we did it right. So for this problem, we were given a choice. We can use one of two methods. So for this method, I'm going to do the other way of showing how to um, multiply using that place value chart. So we've got ones, tens, hundreds, and then these are the thousands, and we're going to need them, but we don't might not know that yet. And then, of course, the um, let's see the partial products over here. So six hundred forty-two times five. So the idea would be, I am going to multiply over here and represent it over here. It makes it a little bit faster. So when I think about this, I've got five times two ones. So I'm going to end up with ten ones. Well, if I end up with ten ones, that's going to look like this. Because ten ones is the same thing as one ten. So that goes right there. Now, when I look at this, this is five times forty. All right. In fact, I'm going to go back here. I'm going to write 5 times 2. So now let's think about 5 times 40. When I multiply 5 times 40, because that is not a 4, it represents 4 tens, which is 40. When I multiply 5 times 40, I get 200. Really, I get 20 tens, because 5 times 4 is 20. And these are in the tens place, so 20 tens, which is 200. So 200 looks like this, two dots in the hundreds place. And then lastly, right here, we've got 5 times 600. Now, when we multiply... 5 times 600, I'm going to get 30 hundreds, because 5 times 6 is 30, and this is in the hundreds place, so it's going to be 30 hundreds. Well, what does 30 hundreds look like? 30 hundreds is going to look like 3,000. So it's going to be right here. I'm going to get 3 in the thousands place. It goes right there. And of course we're going to add all this up. And so on this one, really kind of nice and neat, we get 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. We've got 110 plus 0 plus 0 is 110. We've got two hundreds plus nothing is two hundreds. And then we've got 3,000, and so there you go. And so our answer is 3,210. And that wraps up 4th grade, Module 3, Lesson 8, multiplying 3 and 4 digit numbers by 1 digit, still using the place value disk, but moving towards that partial products method.